hello in this video I'm gonna be explaining about OSGI configurations I intend to make another video on this topic so this video is just gonna be sort of an introduction for uh, OSGI configurations so let's first start with uh, what is an OSGI config so OSGI configurations as the name states these are just some uh, configurations which your site can make use of so for example if your site makes use of some uh, some google services say if your site is accessing youtube api so in order to consume youtube api what you need is an api key so what you can do is you can specify an osgi configuration where you let the content contributors uh, write their own API key so then what happens is whenever your site is accessing the YouTube API your site is using the API key that is provided by the content contributor so this way you don't have to make any changes into, into the code itself so that is how a configuration works so before starting with OSCI configurations let me first tell you a little bit about uh, declarative services so declarative services it's a framework which has been implemented in in AEM so this framework it facilitates you in uh, in writing your configurations and your services and everything so all these configurations component activity activate property reference so all of these annotations they are related to uh, declarative services framework so what the framework does is when you define an OSGI configuration let me just give you an example so when you define an OSGI configuration what you do is you mark that as an OSGI component with the component annotation and when this code is deployed on AEM then declarative services figure out that you have created a new configuration and it creates a new configuration in, in your Felix console so let me explain a little bit about how this works so the first thing that you need to do in order to make your component uh, configurable in the Felix console is you define metatype as true and what this metatype property do is it creates an object of metatype service in your AEM so what that means is in AEM there's a service called metatype service so when you're deploying your configuration class in AEM the declarative services framework it creates a new object of metatype service specifically just for your configuration that you are you are creating and it gives all the properties that you define here in your configuration to that metatype service one other thing that I want to mention is about these um, annotations so these annotations they are related to declarative services but I have not said that uh, declarative services understand uh, all these annotations so what happens is let me just show you when you are uh, when you're deploying your code on AEM a jar file for all your Java classes that is created inside inside the bundle so let me just extract the jar file which is going to be deployed on AEM and inside metatype I'm sorry inside the OSGI INF what you'll see is you'll have a person configuration so the person configuration XML is it is this uh, this class is XML so what this XML has is it has some properties and these properties declare that what this uh, what this configuration has so the configuration name is person configuration IML the activate methods name is it's activate method uh, I have written somewhere yeah it's activate method and modified as well so all the different properties that I have in in my configuration they are declared here so this tag says is there's a property named config dot name in my configuration there's another one dot config dot password config dot gender so they are declared but they are not defined yet however where they are declared is inside this metadata folder so if I go to this metadata folder and if I check this XML then inside this XML all these properties are defined so I had written a property config.gender there here it is declared that there is some property config.gender but nothing is written here specifying that uh, what is the type of this uh, what is the type of this property it is declared in this uh, this XML inside metadata folder so this gender it is a it's a drop down having two options male and female so all these uh, properties are, are defined in, in this XML so what happens when you're deploying all these configurations using maven is 
all of these configurations this modified activate this property all of these annotations they are read by a maven plugin called scr so scr it stands for service component runtime so all these uh, all these uh, annotations they are service component runtime annotations the all of these annotations they are read by scr and then that xml file which i just showed you here um, this xml files it is generated by scr so what maven plugin does is it reads all these configurations and it generates an xml in this xml this is read by aem's declarative services framework and that is how your uh, meta type uh, service is instantiated in, in your felix console and that is how you are able to see your configuration in felix console whenever you type uh, meta type equals to true with your with your component so i have explained about declarative services i have explained about meta type service and i have explained about scr so the next thing that i want to explain is what happens after uh, your configuration is deployed on aem so after it is deployed on aem you can find your configuration in felix console so in this configuration i have defined multiple data types so this one is a string this is a password this is this is a, it's a drop down this is a number and uh, i'm sorry this one is a number and uh, this one is it's a multi field so if you want to check how to declare all these different data types in your configuration i'm going to i'm going to post a github link on on the description for this class but the main thing that i want to cover here is inside my class what i have done is i have defined a property using uh, using the property annotation so this property it has a name which is config.name which you can see here this is the name of the property i have given it a label description and a default value as well so this string variable it defines the name of uh, this property the first property but if you have seen an OSEA configuration before then you must know that there's another variable which is uh, which is non static uh, which also pertains to uh, the same property now why is that so answer for that is meta type service so when declarative services creates a meta type service object for this configuration it defines all those different properties and it takes the name of the property from the from the string variable where this property annotation is declared so what happens when i save the configuration where all the different values that i have saved in in my configuration goes so all these different values when i click on save they are saved inside the meta type service object and not inside my class where i have declared this this configuration so what happens is when i click on save one of these methods either activate or modified this will be called now it depends on if your configuration is already created or not so if you're saving a configuration for the first time then activate will be called or if you are editing an existing configuration then the modified will be called and inside our activate or modify method what we do is we get the component context passed on by the meta type service we get the properties from the context and then we extract all the different properties uh, from this map so this map it will have key value pairs so the key for name this will be same as what we have defined earlier so the key for this map for the name property it will be config.name the value in this map it will be whatever value that i have saved in in the felix console and that is what i need instance variables for i need to get all the different configurations from the map and then i need to save those uh, those configurations in my in my java class so that i can refer to these configurations later on otherwise what will happen is when say modified method is called I get the component context but as soon as the method and I have no way of knowing what was uh, what was the value of the configuration that I wanted to get that is why I save the values and in instance variables now let me just prove this to you I have this activate method and I have this modified method now inside the modified method I get the component context and from the context I get all the different uh, configurations now one interesting configuration is this password configurations even though i'm getting this from the map i'm not saving it anywhere now let's go to felix console and uh, 
in the password field i'll write pass let's keep these as default i click on save the configuration is now saved now let me go to crx inside my crx i go to apps system config and inside this should be my configuration now the password its value is saved as pass so what this means is inside my configuration the value for password has been saved even though i am not uh, i'm not saving this in my class so what will happen is if i call person configuration dot get password config then i'll get null just because i have not saved the password that i was getting from from the configuration in my instance variable it does not mean that the password is not there in the configuration it's just that i have not uh, saved this in in an instance variable in my class and that is why we save the values in in an instance variable now there is one minor thing that i want to cover in uh, in this video so remember that i have an int value here so in order to declare the int value is I, I declare the int value so in my property if i write int value equals to zero then the configuration it will become a numeric configuration so this number of children this is a numeric configuration so if i go to my person configuration so inside here number of children this is the one so I can write anything on the UI, but when I save, it will not be saved. Now if I refresh this, then I can see that uh, the number of children is still 0. And let me just confirm that here as well, the number of children is 0. All that happens is if I write an invalid value, it will just not be saved. It won't, uh, the UI, it won't show me any error that the value is not saved anywhere. That is one thing that I came to know recently. Now there are a lot of other things that I want to cover in the configurations, but uh, but I'm trying to keep the video short. So I'll be doing another video for, uh, for the configuration. I hope I was able to explain it properly in this video. And as usual, if you have any questions, please post them in a comment. Thanks for watching.